What up, what up? Wimbush here. Today I'm excited to show you guys how we can take custom mocap data from the Rococo suit into Cinema 40 R23 and easily rig that up to a character that we're going to rig in Mixamo. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So as I was alluding to before, I actually have Cinema 40 version R23 here. And what I'm going to start off with is let me show you the character that I'm actually going to be using. And so this one comes from Render Hub. I'll actually leave a link down if you want to follow along. But this is the Black Panther. He actually comes from the video game. This is a game model and this one comes absolutely free. So I just downloaded it. And then once you have it downloaded and you, you know, you unstract the files and everything. If you come in here, you see that we have a whole bunch of different files in here. And it's usually the one that's a little bit larger here. And so like if I double click on this one, that's the less amount. You can see this one doesn't have any textures in it. So usually if that's the one that doesn't have textures, it's usually the other one when you're getting stuff from that website. So if I click and drag this into Cinema 4D and then I just click OK here. Now we have our Black Panther model inside of Cinema here. You can see it's a little bit transparent. That's really easy to fix. So if I just double click on the material down here, then I select all of them. All I'm going to do is basically start turning all these off because really when I bring stuff into Mixamo, I only want the diffuse channel anyway. So if there's any normal maps or anything of that nature, make sure to turn those off. And then once you bring it back into Cinema 4D after it's already rigged, then you can start adding that stuff in if you wanted to. And so I only have my diffuse map here. If I close this down, I can see we have our Black Panther model. And for this particular model, I was using it before, so I already know. Actually, let me come up the layout and just do the standard layout. There we go. And so if you see here, we have a couple of files that we actually don't need. So if I hold down the left alt button and then just left click and drag down here, I'm actually just going to turn these on individually. So I think this bottom layer is the one we want. And then we have one for eyes as well. And so those are the only two that we really need. Like if I turn on this top one here, it looks like it has a white material. But if I turn it on, we don't see anything. But if I hit render, it's actually, yeah, we don't really want that. So I know that we want to get rid of these two. So whenever you're getting stuff from these different sites like Render Hub or Turbo Squid, just to make sure that you go through your models and just make sure they're absolutely clean before we bring them into Mixamo. So from here, I'm actually going to come down to edit. And then right here where it says delete unused material, I'm going to do that. So I'm only going to bring in the materials that I absolutely need. We have our character here in the A pose. I'm just going to select them here. We can bring this in the Mixamo as is. As long as he's in like a T pose or an A pose, it should be absolutely fine. So I'm going to come up here to file and then I'm going to come down here to export and I'm just going to select FBX. And then right here, the only thing that I want to make sure I have, like I have all my stuff selected. So I want to have my selection only up here for file format. You want to use version 7.2, 2012. You don't want to use any earlier versions than that or any later versions. We don't want to use 2019 or anything. So as long as you have that selected, we should be good. I'm just going to click OK from here. And then from this point, I'm just actually going to name this file Panther. So I know which file that is. I'm going to click Save. I already saved this out earlier, so it's asking me if I want to override. I'm just going to click yes. And so there we go. We have an FBX made there. And so from here, I'm actually just going to come back to my web browser, open up Mixamo. And then this is one of the default characters from Adobe, which we want to switch out. So if I click over here where it says upload character, it's going to come up with this dialog box that says upload character. So really, I mean, you can select here if you want to select it manually or if you know where it's at and you have file explorer, I can actually just come down here to my Panther FBX file and then I could just actually click and drag that into this box right here. So I'm just going to click and drag it in this box into its outline like that with the dotted lines. Just let it go and then I'm going to let it upload the character. This is pretty small, so it shouldn't take that long to upload. See, we're already at the auto rigging part, so I'm just going to click next. And then from here, we just have to align everything where it needs to go. So this joint right here, I'm going to try to get it in the chin area as best I can. And then for the wrist, if I just hover around, you'll see this is left and then the other one says right. And so I believe it's the models left and right. So if I click and hold this, I want to come over to the models left wrist right here and just put it into the joint area for the left wrist and then for the left elbow same thing this is where the elbow would be at and then for the knees somewhere around there and then the groin area somewhere around there and then i'm just going to click next on here and give us a few moments just to auto rig everything up 
And here's a quick tip for you guys while this is auto rigging. Sometimes I've ran into different problems where the auto rig just seems to go on forever. I noticed that sometimes if you just switch out your web browser, that will work too. So like I'm using Chrome right here, but if for some reason Chrome doesn't work, I just open up Firefox, do the steps again, and that usually fixes the problem. So that's just a tip I wanted to share with you guys in case you know it's auto rigging forever and it's not seeming to work out. So here we go. We have the auto rigger. It looks like everything is pretty clean here we can see the black panther moving left and right we see his arms movement everything looks like it's rigged up pretty well even the fingers and everything so i'm going to click on next here then it says i'm uploading a new character do i want to proceed click yes and now we have the black panther in here and i want to put him inside of a t pose i don't want him in an a pose so what i'm going to do is come over to animations and even if he is in a t pose i still do this anyway i come over to animation in the search bar here, just type in T. And then the very first thing that should pop up is a T pose here. So I click on that and I found whenever I use the animation T pose, it always works when I bring it into Cinema 4D. So this is another tip. Usually use this T pose that you see here. Then from here, we basically just wanna click download. Just leave everything at default, click download from here. And then depending on what web browser you're using, like I'm using Chrome, so it usually shows up in the lower left-hand corner. Looks like everything is downloaded. So I'm just going to minimize this. And then I'm going to actually go to my download folder and it should be called t -Post. So I'm just going to take this, click and drag it into Cinema 4D, leave everything at default, just click OK. And now we have the Black Panther in our scene. Everything looks good. And so what I'm going to do from here, I like working in a clean slate, especially when I'm bringing in outside mocap data. I'm going to select both of these here, come over to object, Come down to group object and then it's going to put it inside of a null which i'm just going to name panther like so and then i'm just going to make sure it's selected go to edit come down to copy and then i'm going to come over to file and just make a new project and then i'm just going to paste that into my scene here and you can see that the black panther is really really tiny this is another reason i like working in a brand new scene just because we can see the scale of reference how it's really going to be in our scene you know we can't even see him right now he looks like ant-man so what i'm going to do for scale is i'm going to come up to here where it has the cube come over to figure and it's going to bring this mannequin in the mannequin is a little bit under six feet i believe and so that gives us a good point of reference on how tall a character should be so i'm going to click on the black panther here I'm going to actually come down here to coordinates and let me drag this up a little bit so we can see it. And then I believe for this particular character, I had him at like 125 all around. So X, Y, and Z, I want to do 125, then just drag him up till he's hitting the ground plane there. So that's a little bit over six foot, which that should be fine. He's a superhero, should be a little bit bigger than the typical man. So now we have the correct size for our character in here. So the next step from here is I want to click on the Black Panther. I want to come over to tags and then I want to come down to here where it says rigging tags. And then this is brand new for version R23. So this one is called character definition. I want to click on that there. And then if I open up the manager and I extract a skeleton, it's automatically going to put everything aligned to where it needs to be. So if I click on my torso, look at my hip, look at my spine you see that we have the mix and mode joints already in here like even if i come down to fingers it has auto finger joints correlated to where it's supposed to be so this is quick and easy i don't know if you guys saw my other tutorial where i actually went through joint by joint and put a constraint tag on them and had to actually link it to the rococo data i mean it worked but this is a lot faster so let me actually show you how we could bring in a rococo data into cinema 4d so i'm actually going to open up rococo studio now give us a chance to launch up okay so once we're in here i'm actually just going to click new project I'm just going to name this one panther click over and then from here i just need to tell it that i have my suit on so i'm going to click on add objects and click on this w for winbush there we go and now it looks like it's finding my suit here which i already have powered up with my battery pack so i'm just going to click and drag this under winbush and there we go he turns blue that's the color for my profile and so now you can see that my character is aligned, but he's not calibrated. So it's real quick and easy. This first icon that's here, I'm actually going to click on this to calibrate everything. So I'm going to get it in the position here. There we go. So now as I'm moving, my Rococo character is moving as well. So I'm actually just going to do a quick motion capture for you guys so we can bring that into Cinema 4D. So I'm going to come down here 
click the record button. So there we go. Just some action poses there for the Panther. So I'm going to actually click stop there. I'm going to double click on my take. Just make sure everything is good there. No popping or anything. So I did a pretty decent, you know, it's pretty easy capture that we did here. So shouldn't need any type of cleanup or anything. Just some really basic poses there. So everything looks pretty good here. So I'm happy with it. I'm actually going to right click on this and rename it. Let's name it take panther and then i'm just going to right click on here and go to export so i already used the maximo skeleton in the past so it's already selected but we do have other options here as well depending where you're sending it out to but for cinema 4d users we mostly use maximo right here so from here i'm just going to actually pick a good export path so let me find where i have all my stuff saved so i believe i have it in my downloads folder here click on black panther and actually make a new folder name this one Rococo like so and click OK and so everything I think is good here I want to do FBX I want to do body mesh I want to leave it at binary 2016 Mixamo export wait for everything to export out there we go so we have all of our data that we need from there so I can actually minimize that and let me go into my folder and actually find where I have it so my Rococo folder, scene one, take Panther Mixamo. I'm just gonna click and drag that into my Cinema 4D here. Click OK. Okay, so once everything is in here, I'm just gonna click on play, just make sure the data came through. So it automatically has a mesh and everything in here. It goes through all my movements and everything. It looks like, yeah, we got everything in there that we need. So I'm actually just going to bring over the Mixamo data here, but instead of Mixamo hips, I'm going to right click on it and just name it Panther. So I know what Mixamo rig is what. So I'm going to come over and copy it. And then let me come back to window, find the project folder that I'm working in, which is this one here. And then I'm just going to paste it in here. And so now we have our rig inside of our scene along with the Black Panther. So from here, it's the same exact steps I took before. I'm going to come over to tags come down to rigging tags and then come down to character definition, click on that. And then from here, I'm just gonna click on open manager. And since we're using a Rococo skeleton, it should automatically pick up on that. So I'm gonna extract the skeleton like so, and look, it has all the joints and everything in here. So I'm actually just gonna close this out. And then I'm gonna actually come down to our original one for the Panther, make sure I have this tag clicked on. And right here, you'll see something that's called create solver. So I'm gonna click on this, it's going to put a new tag in here and from here i can actually drag it into my source character so the stuff that we brought over from a coco i want to click on this tag drag it in the hair and then if i drag my timeline out and actually click play so there we go the black panther is actually moving with my mocap data and actually let me hold down the alt key on my keyboard i'm just going to double click on this so it turns that skeleton off and then same thing for this skeleton hold down the alt key Double click on that until it's red. So the only thing we see here is the mesh. Then I'm just gonna click play and we should have our mocap data onto the Black Panther there. There we go, he's flexing on them. Gotta show him the muscles there, get into the pose. There we go. So now we have my mocap data on the Black Panther. So Marvel, if you're out there and you need somebody to mocap for the Black Panther part two, definitely holler at your boy. <laughs> so hopefully this helped you guys out. This is actually an update with version R23. So if you have like a mocap suit, like the Rococo suit, we could quick and easily start adapting our own custom animations with these characters that we have inside of Cinema 4D. So if this did help you out and pique your interest, make sure you leave me a comment down below. If anybody is interested in the Rococo suit, make sure you hit me up because I do have some discount codes that would save you 10%. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe too. I'm always releasing dope content like this. And until next time, stay fresh, keep creating, and I'll catch you in the next video. I'll see you guys soon. Take care.